Hi, my name is Lloyd J. Schwartz, and uh, I came because I really think that the Academy does a great thing with these interviews, you know? And maybe I have a chance to meet some people I've always admired, and I, I want to be here for that. The archives is a very important thing for, for students and for people in television at all, all levels. They can learn where it came from. And the fact that they asked me to be an interviewee was a real honor, because I'm up there with some really heavyweight people. You know, I'm probably down here somewhere, but I'm happy to be there. That's the easiest question I can answer. Because my, my dad, and I worked with my dad, Sherwood Schwartz, for, from 1965 all the way up until he passed away. And we were father-son producing team, and I just learned everything I learned from him, and I thought he was a great producer. He produced, you know, Gilligan's Island, The Brady Bunch, and I did those shows with him. And um, I hope I can carry some of his legacy forward. First thing I remember seeing on television, I was outside my neighbor's house looking through the hedge at their television. So I don't remember what was on. It, I didn't hear the sound anyway. But my dad started television, actually, with a lot of people. did My Mary Joan and those kind of shows. And so I remember going with him to see the Red Skelton show. He was writing that show, and I got a chance to meet those stars. And um, I'm very lucky to have, you know, have been there all the way through and still working. I'm honored to be part of the, the history of the of television. You know, I started very young. Uh, my dad was Sherwood Schwartz, and he was one of the founders of television. And I, just, I joined him in 1965 and been working ever since. And we did, you know, Gilligan's Island and the Brady Bunch and like that. And um, that's all part of television history. There was no pressure for me to join, join him. I was, I was already writing for Love American Style, and I did some stand-up comedy. And then when he did Brady Bunch, that's when I joined him for good as a dialogue coach with that. And then I would go producer and director and executive producer and all the Brady stuff since then. A lot of other shows, too. I've never told this before on any interview. It's exclusive. I was 11, okay? My dad was working for the Red Skelton Show, and he had an office up in CBS opposite the conference room where big decisions were made. A guy walked out of the conference room who was a friend of my dad's, very depressed. And my dad said, what's the matter? And he said, Mr. Paley and all the executives were canceling his show after one year. And my dad said, why? And he said, this is before research. He said, well, all the people don't seem to understand the show. And my dad said, my son Lloyd, meaning me, watched the show all the time and talked about it with his friends. And that was the Twilight Zone. And so he tells Rod Serling this. Rod Serling goes back into the conference room where Mr. Paley is, and he says, I was just talking to Sherwood. His son Lloyd watches it all the time, and all the kids are watching it, and they picked it up for another year. I taught producing for television at UCLA, and I would begin by saying television is the most important thing in the world. Television sets are on eight hours a day in an average home, okay? You go to sleep for eight hours. Okay, that's and, and you and you and you maybe work for eight hours. That means all other time is in front of the television, and you learn everything all the time. It is that important. Just think about the news and everything. It's all that important. So the impact on me, well, it's, it's been my life. It's just that important. I, you know, and my shows teach lessons and things. You know, and Brady Bunch and the fact that they've even cut Brady Bunches down to eight minutes and used them as educational films. I mean, people have learned to speak, you know, English by watching the Brady Bunch, and the same with Gilligan's Island. You know, so, I mean, having that kind of an impact, you know, I'm not famous. Nobody knows who I look like, but I can be famous anytime I want. I threw the ball that hit Marsha in the nose in the Brady Bunch. Oh, did you really? Yeah. So, so, okay. <laughs> yeah, and that's considered one of the 50 greatest moments in the history of TV. And, and you hit Marsha in the face with a football. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And, and proud to say it.